tonight we're talking about what's up in the sky. One of the things that's up in the sky is the sun. So I want to read you this book called Energy from the Sun. And the author's name is Alan. And these pictures in this book are real photographs that someone took with a camera. So this book is going to give us real information. And this is the, that's right, title page, Energy from the Sun. Has any grown-up ever asked you, where do you get all that energy? Energy is what you need a lot of to run around and play and climb and jump and shout. Energy is what you run out of when you get tired. Energy is what makes things move. It makes machines do their work. It gives us heat and light. Toasters and TV sets and computers run on a type of energy called electricity. Now, I'm sure you guys can look around your house and find some other things that run around electricity. Where do you get your energy? You get it from the food you eat. Much of what you eat is plant life. From plants, we get fruits, vegetables, and the wheat, corn, or other grains from which bread and cereals are made. Plants themselves need food to live and grow. From the simplest blade of grass to the tallest tree, each plant makes its own food. A plant makes its food out of water and air but something else is needed to turn water and air into food for a plant. What is needed is energy. This energy comes from the sun. It is in every beam of sunlight that shines down on Earth. And Earth is the planet that we live on. Without the sun's energy, plants could not grow. And you would have nothing to eat. But what about meat, milk, eggs, and fish? Don't those come from animals? Yes, they do. They come from animals that eat plant life. Think of cows grazing on grass. The sun's energy works inside a plant to make food for the plant. And as this happens, the plant releases a bit of gas called oxygen into the air. Most of the oxygen in the air around us comes from plants in this way. If there were no oxygen in the air, we couldn't breathe. So every breath of air you take, every bite of food you eat, depends on energy from the sun. You even use energy that came from the sun way back when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Great forests of plant life grew on this energy. Then over a long, long time, the plants were buried and slowly changed into coal or petroleum or natural gas. Cars, trucks, and buses run on the energy in gasoline, which comes from petroleum. Houses and other buildings may be heated by energy in coal or natural gas. Whether you walked to school today or rode in a car or bus, energy from the sun helped you get there. Where do you get all that energy? From the sun. No wonder you have so much of it. And here are some words from the story. We have sunlight, play, jump, electricity, fruit, 
grain, cows, milk, plant life, coal, and gasoline. And that is the end of our story. So what's important to remember is that the sun helps us to get energy from the food we eat. It also helps us to be able to drive our cars and ride in buses. So I will be seeing you guys this week and we'll be talking all about what's up in the sky. Thanks for listening. Bye.